Hello everyone, this is Professor Kavish Davra from Mahesh Tutorials Commerce. I head the entire sales and operations of Mahesh Tutorials Commerce and it's a privilege for me today to guide you all related to the careers in commerce. So my dear students and those parents who are watching me, I'll quickly introduce myself and my education qualification so that you are certain and sure that is the right man to guide us on commerce. So as I discussed, my name is Kavish and I am done with my BMS. I'm also done with my MBA in finance. I'm also done with my MCOM in management. Currently I'm pursuing my PhD and I'm in my final year of B.Ed. So with all these degrees, okay, apart from that, I've also got a certificate on a professional career guider or a career coach. So with all this, it gives me immense pleasure and I welcome you all for the further fun thrilling session on the career guidance related to commerce. Now students or parents, gone are those days in which you know, our 10th standard marks used to decide ke main 10th standard ke baad kya karunga. Generally it was a myth, not a fact, it was a myth ke kisi ko samjho 10th standard ke baad 90% aata hai, to wo generally science lega. Agar usko 50-60% aa jata hai, to wo arts leta hai. Usko arts nahi karna aur usko science nahi mila, to wo kya lega? Commerce. But I, I repeat my statement, gone are those days. Today, a child is very much matured enough, he is well educated, he is well informed because he knows what are the career options available in a particular stream. So your 10th standard percentage is no more a yardstick of what you should be doing. Should you be going for science, should you go, go going for commerce or should you be going for arts? It all depends upon your own caliber, it all depends upon your own subject interest. So today, in this particular session, I'm going to discuss with you specifically what are the avenues in commerce. I'll also show you certain personalities who have been excelling in their life with the help of commerce graduations. Also, we'll be discussing about what exactly we'll be studying in commerce so that you are well informed and you can take the best decision of your life. So before I start with anything, I've prepared a very small audiovisual which gives you a complete insight okay, what, of what exactly is this particular commerce field. So let me just show you that audiovisual. What moves the economy? Commerce. Commerce is the prime mover of the economy. Be a part of the movers and shakers of India. Come, join the bandwagon. Lead India into an era of growth and development. MT Educare welcomes you to the world of commerce. Careers in commerce include finance, banking, insurance, human resource, marketing, mutual funds, equity markets, law and legislation, business development and taxation. Careers in commerce can be specialized in insurance, you can be an actuarial, deciding upon the premiums for various types of insurance policies. Investment and portfolio management includes analyst. As an analyst, you can analyze stocks in currencies, commodities like gold, grain, real estate, etc. And portfolio manager, guiding your clients on to invest or not to invest. And if invest, then how to optimize his returns on his investments? Advertising. Make a career in the world of mad ads. You can excel in brand building, copywriting, economics. As an economist, you can analyze the national income, its trend and its growth rate. Find out measures to contain inflation in our country. Law and legislation. Enter the world of law. To be a specialist in property, patents, intellectual property, criminal law and civil law, banking, manage funds, multiply investments and be a part of the ever-growing money market, cost and work accountant, MBA, company secretary, chartered accountant. The world of commerce is full of careers with great versatility. 
the areas in which a commerce professional can work is beyond boundaries. So yes, we saw what exactly are the streams of commerce. And very well it was highlighted towards the end that the careers in commerce have huge potential. We welcome you to the field of commerce. Let's start with understanding the comparison of boards. Specifically, this is a common question so, since so many years. I am, by the way, in this field for the last one and a half decade. And I have come across the student fraternity asking me a very, very simple question. Okay, sir, 10th standard tuck, we were into ICAC board or we were into CBSE board or majority students were in state board. So which board I should continue in my 11th and the 12th standard, which is basically my first year junior college and the second year junior college. Let me just show you the comparison. Okay, now if you talk about the very first one, that is the state board. Okay, we have clearly mentioned here that state board students are comparatively limited. The, the, uh, the content here is comparatively limited. The subjects are comparatively limited. Generally, students who are planning for IITs or CAT or maybe, you know, any kind of competitive examination prefer state board. If you are interested in sports, music, you require certain free time. Hence, we, we suggest you state board. But when it comes to CBSE, the only disadvantage of this board, as per many websites and as per so many, you know, career experts, they have told that CBSE content is quite vast. Hence, if you want to have certain extra time for doing some extracurricular activity or doing any competitive exams, then CBSE is not a board we prefer in the 11th and 12th. Similar is the concept of ICSE. Although content-wise, it's an excellent board, Nothing to deem in there, but ICSE stresses a lot on project work. So majority of your time of your 11th and 12th standard will go in making projects, will go in making industrial visits. So likewise, you are, you are completely occupied in the 11th and 12th curriculum way. So again, you will not find any time for doing any preparations for the entrance examinations. So irrespective of you taking commerce or science or arts, the best of the board, if you want to be prepared ahead for the competitive examinations, is the state board. And that's why there is one, uh, I mean, you know, statistics which I've mentioned here. 95% of students after 10th standard in Maharashtra specific go for state board. That is, they will do FYJC 11th standard and SYJC 12th standard through the Maharashtra board. So 12th standard will become HSC, Higher Secondary Certificate. Just a 10th standard for state board was SSC. Okay, so let me introduce you to the subjects in commerce. Now, this is the, uh, I mean, no basic subjects I'll be talking about, what you will be studying in the 11th and the 12th standard. So, what are the subjects in the 11th and 12th commerce? Click, please. Okay, so let me talk about what are the subjects what we are going to study in commerce. So, here are the subjects, bookkeeping, economics, OCM, Maths or SP, English, Second Language or IT. These are just the names what you have spoken. I'll just give you the inside of few of the subjects here. The very first subject you are seeing students is bookkeeping. Bookkeeping. Now, in a very late term, if you talk about what is bookkeeping. So, I asked in one of the seminars to one of the students, okay, what will be bookkeeping? It was just a ninth standard student. He told me, Sir, bookkeeping matlab wohi na jahan pe sikhayenge book kaise rakhne ka. No, my dear students. Bookkeeping is simply not by its name. Bookkeeping is one professional name for the subject called accountancy. Accounts. This is the pillar of commerce. The main subject for commerce. And you are going to study this for the very first time in your 11th standard. For the very first time, this subject will be coming to you if you are choosing state board and bookkeeping will be the subject which will be coming to you. Now, something students which come for the very first time, something which comes for the very first time, can I say, has to start from the ABCD of that subject. So this, this bookkeeping as a subject will be taught to you from scratch. You'll be studying, okay, what is journal, what is ledger, okay, how do we make the final accounts, everything from the scratch. Now, I take this as an advantage that, you know, I'm going to study a subject for the first time, but from the very scratch. I need not have any backlog of the knowledge of any previous standards. This will be coming for the very first time. Second subject, another very important subject and a pillar subject of commerce and that is economics. Economics. 
In the 11th and 12th standard, economics is basically you know, taught to you in two ways, the microeconomics and the macroeconomics. And my dear students, let me tell you, this is going to be very practical level of economics. Okay, for the first time in your life, you're also going to start drawing diagrams in economics. What is demand curve? What is supply curve? What is the cost? What is production? Everything will be coming to you in the 11th and the 12th standard. Again, very interesting. But if you are a state board student and you are comparing your 9th and 10th standard with the 11th and 12th standard economics, let me tell you, it has nothing to do with the 9th and 10th. This subject is also a fresh subject and going to be coming to you for the very first time because you have never drawn diagrams draw nahi kiye hai in economics. But for every single chapter, rather for every single answer, it has to be supported with a diagram. So very, very practical and interesting subject. The next subject is OCM. Bot sare log ne to naam shayad at first time suna hai. OCM, Organization of Commerce and Management. One of the theory subjects of commerce, but theory related to what? Theory which is related to day-to-day -day life. For example, in our day-to-day -day circumstances, can I say we use transportation, we may go by train, we may go by bus, we may go by whatever means of transport. So there is a chapter called transportation in OCM. We day in day out use banks. We day in day out use insurance. So there are subjects or there are chapters called as banking. There are chapters called as insurance in OCM. So whatever you are going to use in your practical life is going to be taught to us in the 11th and 12th standard in the subject called OCM. So it's a theory subject but related to practical. But once again, it is that subject which is going to come for the first time in your life. That means again it starts from the scratch. So all the three subjects, students, bookkeeping, economics, OCM, they were that subject which are going to come for the first time when you go to the 11th and 12th standard. Now, if it comes for the first time, it starts from the ABCD. Now, why am I saying it's an advantage? If you compare yourself with any other boards, I'm not naming any other board, but you just compare yourself in any other board or any other stream. Today, we are talking about commerce, but there are other streams also. If you take any other stream except for commerce, can I say you should be having your basic knowledge of what you had done in the 10th standard and that is what you have to apply in 11th or 12th. Mein. But commerce is not like that. Commerce you have taken, then you will study bookkeeping economics OC first time in the 11th and 12th. It means that you have no previous knowledge or not, doesn't make any difference. You will be starting your studies from the very basics and that's why it's an advantage. Coming to the next subject, Maths or SP. Now my dear students, commerce gives you this leverage. If you don't want to go for maths, you can go for the subject which is SP. Now maths we very well know. Okay, maths is that particular subject which was divided till our lower standards in algebra and geometry. But now your maths will be a little elevated. Maths will be divided into algebra and statistics. Geometrical knowledge will be least now. Still, if you don't want to continue with maths, which is not our suggestion as such, but if you don't want to continue with maths, you have an option to go for a theory subject which is called SP. SP stands for secretarial practice. Secretarial practice is that subject which gives you theories about companies. How do we start a company? How do we make that particular company registered? Where do we go and register the company? What laws the company should be following? In and out about the company will be taught to you in SP. It talks about shares, debentures, etc, etc things. But it's a theory subject. So, maths or SP. In other words, if you take 11th and 12th state board commerce, you are either a maths child or you are a SP child. If you are a maths child, then your four compulsory subjects will be bookkeeping, economics, OC and maths. If you take a SP as an option, then your four compulsory subjects can be bookkeeping, economics, SP and OC. But the fifth subject is compulsory to everyone and that is English. Okay, English, it is similar to what you have studied in a lower level, but the content is at a little higher level. Now, English is common for all the streams, whether you go for commerce, whether you go for science, whether you go for arts, English will be common. Last subject, which has a lot of options, second language or IT. Second language can be any language related to Hindi, Marathi, Gujarati, French, German or information technology that is called as IT. Now, which subject I should be selecting amongst all this 
Should I go for Hindi? Should I go for Marathi? Should I go for French, German? What? I'll give you two aspects to it. Number one, if you want to score, if you want to score in your 12th standard, then you should be going for subjects which are French, German or IT. And if you want to continue with the same subject which you had done in your, in your lower standards, you can select anything from Hindi, Marathi, Sanskrit, Gujarati, whatsoever. If you are, sir, both, I mean, lower standards mein French, liya tha, should I go for 11, 10, 12 French? 100%. If, if you had selected German in a lower standards, please continue with German in the 11th and 12th as well. Content-wise, you have advantage hai, because you already know that language. Secondly, scoring. Bhi hai. But today, we will not be unfortunately able to decide that which language I should be selecting in my 11th and 12th. And the reason specific to this is because it all depends upon how much percentage will I get in my 10th standard. On the basis of that percentage, which college I'll be allocated. That college offers me which second language. I have to go for that second language. Which means all the colleges compulsorily may not offer all the options. There are certain colleges which may offer German. There are certain colleges which will say we don't have German as an option. There are certain colleges which can give you French. There are certain colleges which will deny you French. But Hindi and Marathi will be compulsory to all the colleges, okay, irrespective of wherever you are staying. So again, I'm repeating, decision on what language I should be taking right now cannot be taken because it all depends upon how much score I do in my 10th standard. Okay, so this were the introduction of subjects at the 11th and the 12th standard level. One last time, it is bookkeeping or accountancy. Economics, but a practical level. OCM, Organization of Commerce and Management, a complete theory subject, but related to the practical life. Then option between Maths or SP. Maths, my dear students, is Algebra and Statistics. SP is once again a theory. Okay. Then comes English, okay, which is a compulsory language for all of us. And second language or IT, it has a lot of options, including Hindi, Marathi, French, German, etc., etc., etc. IT. Okay, IT is basically information technology, which is a subject related to computers, but very basic knowledge related to computers, nothing related to the higher level of uh, you know, IT knowledge as such. So these were the subjects for the 11th and 12th standard. Now, something very interesting. We are going to discuss about what will happen after 12th standard. Because 11th and 12th is just an introduction of what commerce is. It is just going to make you taste what commerce is. The entire platter will be coming to you after the 12th standard. So what are the careers in commerce post standard 12th? Now today in this particular session, okay, in this particular video, I may not be able to cover all the courses, but I'll definitely try and touch the prominent career options in commerce. I said, dekhne jau, to 12th standard ke baad, you have got more than 150 career options. Date so se bhi zada career options commerce mein available hai. Sare ke sare to hum baat nahi karenge. But definitely we'll talk about the prominent courses and we'll give you the guideline of what exactly people do in commerce. Let's start understanding this. Okay, so careers after 12th commerce. Generally, those students who you know, do two years of commerce are sure and certain. In fact, 95 to 98 percent students for sure do something which is called as graduation or bachelor's degree. And this graduation or bachelor's degree go with a range of three years. There are several options given here. The most prominent are BCom, Bachelor's of Commerce, BMS, Bachelor's of Management Studies, BBI, Bachelor's of Banking and Insurance, BAF, Bachelor's of Accounting and Finance, LLB, this is also bachelor's, but written in a different way. LLB is bachelor's of law and legislation. BSc IT, yes, my dear students, BSc IT is also possible after doing two years in commerce. So basically, all these courses, BCom, BMS, LLB, ex except for LLB, my dear students, except for LLB, all these courses are for the period of three years. For example, if I talk about BCom, BCom is three years, FY BCom, SY BCom, TY BCom. FY is first year, SY is second year, and TY is third year. So once I complete three years of BCom, mere naam ke aage ek for sure tag lag jata hai, and I'm called as a graduate. Now, BCom, BMS, BBI, BAF, whatsoever I just named, this will be done 
by 95 to 98 percent of the students who are going to select commerce which means there is nothing special what I have done yet. So generally after spending three years in graduation why did I actually do graduation you know the purpose of doing graduation was this that in near future I want to go for post graduation or a master's degree. Generally post graduation or master's degree if done full time is just for two years. मतलब ये जो आपने ग्रेजुएशन में आप बीकॉम देख रहे हो तो पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन में इट बिकम्स एमकॉम बीकॉम वाज बैचलर्स ऑफ कॉमर्स इन पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन विल बिकम मास्टर्स ऑफ कॉमर्स इफ यू आर डूइंग बीबीए इन ग्रेजुएशन इट विल बिकम एमबीए इन पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन मास्टर्स ऑफ बिजनेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन सो लॉट मेनी पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन कोर्सेस आर आल्सो अवेलेबल इन कॉमर्स जिसका ग्रेजुएशन है उसका पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन भी अवेलेबल है ग्रेजुएशन पॉपुलरली इज कॉल्ड एज बैचलर्स डिग्री post graduation popularly is called as masters degree in other words if a child is getting into commerce after 10th standard 2 saal wo junior college karega 11th and 12th uske baad 3 saal wo graduation ya fir bachelor's degree karega aur uske baad aur 2 saal wo post graduation ya fir masters degree karega so it is 2 plus 3 plus 2 so if you are a 10th standard student and listening to this audio video let me tell you, your journey of commerce is of seven years. The educational journey of commerce is of seven years. Two years of your junior college, three years of your graduation, and two years of your post-graduation. And let me tell you, my dear students, this seven years will decide whether it will make your career or whether it will break your career. Again, let me remind you, I told you in the start that 95 to 98 percent of the students who take commerce are going to be into this journey 2 plus 3 plus 2 sab log karenge to aap kya special karoge so you want to do something special something special means ye to aapko karna hi hai because everyone is doing you also will be doing but iske saath saath you can either make a choice of doing diploma courses now when i say diploma courses this courses range for a period of 2 to 3 years Popularly, diploma courses are courses which are called as certification courses. These courses are given by independent institutes. You can do a course like fashion designing, jewelry designing, a, a certificate course on export and import, certificate course in share markets, very trending certificate course in digital marketing, etc, etc, etc. But everywhere I was using certificate course. Now when I say certificates, now basically if a certificate is associated from a government, a certificate is associated from a recognized university, then it plays a vital role. Unfortunately, the certificates are given by independent institutes. So then sir, you want to say that if you certificate, you don't have so much value. Yes, I want to say this. Who does this then? Generally, certificate courses on fashion designing, jewelry designing, export import, digital marketing etc. are done by two category of people. Number one, jiske paas already ek existing job hai aur usko apne job mein promotion chahiye ya fir growth chahiye apni organization mein ek level pe hai aage badhna hai level mein to wo koi na koi certification course karega. Dusra, jisko ye courses mein interest hai. Okay, matlab mujhe aage mera career digital marketing mein banana hai ya fir mere papa already ek bahut bade fashion designer hai mujhe unki boutique aage continue karni hai. If that is a pursuit, then you are most welcome to go for diploma courses. But if you are just done with a diploma course as a certificate and then I'm talking about a real life example, if you want to go for asking a job on the basis of that certificate, my dear students, that's actually practically not possible. So sir, aise koi certifications hai, jis mein, you know, ready job availability bhi ho, then dear students, don't go for diploma courses. I would suggest you should be going for professional courses. Professional courses are in a range of three to five years. But why they are called as professional courses? Because they, number one, they are given by, these are certificates, but these are given by recognized institutes or recognized universities backed up by the government, which means this is really a worth doing kind of certificate course. The most famous course of commerce, all of you might have heard about for sure, Chartered Accountancy, CA. 
Okay, CA is done in three levels. The entrance level is called as CA foundation. Middle level is called as CA inter. And the final level is definitely called as CA final. But what makes CA a professional course? See, once I complete my CA foundation and get into CA inter and once I complete my CA inter also, after I do my CA inter, it's a mandate in the course. The course, by the way, is given by ICAI, Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. So, ICAI, ke mutabik, aapne first two levels clear kiya na, to aapka jo third level hai, that is CA final, you can do it only after you complete your articleship of three years under a practicing chartered accountant. Matlab, aapko khali likhna aur exam dena nahi hai, I mean, just padna aur exam dena nahi hai. It is also, you have to work with a practicing chartered accountant for a period of three years. That means, after you appear for your final exam, you will not only have a CA certificate, but you also will by default have a work experience certificate and my dear students, a work experience of three years. That means you are just not a fresher CA. You are inbound three years ka work experience wala CA before you go for a job. And that's why you are called as a professional. So, if you have a CA CA complete hota hai na, to aapke naam ke aage bhi, Mr. Master Miss Hutt ke lag jata hai CA so and so. And the best part is what you know? Simultaneously you are doing graduation and post-graduation. So, that's what you have to do. And you are doing it in your CA. And they have beautifully placed, ICI beautifully placed so examinations so that it does not clash with any of a graduation or post-graduation examination. It does not affect a regular curriculum. You can do it along with. CA can be done by the students who have cleared their 10th standard examination but have appeared their 12th standard examination. Matlab, this course you can enter after you appear. That means you board exams, di, you become eligible for CA ka entrance examinations. Okay. CS, company secretary. CA as a career is more related towards practicality, taxation, auditing, etc. etc. CS as a career is related to more of legality. You will learn a lot of things related to the laws here, specifically company laws. Okay, you will be learning a lot of, lot of compliances, etc, etc in a course called CS. It's also a professional course. Okay, it also has internships, CMA, Cost Management Accountant, ACCA, CFA, Chartered Financial Analyst, CFP, Certified Financial Planner, and very interesting course, Actuarial Sciences. Those students who are hearing me, Okay, and are very, very much interested in mathematics. If maths is that which drives you, really, go for this course, Actuarial Science. Okay, Actuarial Science is basically a course which is related to insurance industries. Okay, matlab, if you are, if you are an actuary, once you complete all the 16 levels of this course, you work in the insurance industry. Insurance industry, basic, basically, you know, it, it asks for the, uh, um, you know, basically ask the clients to invest with them. Okay, and you know, certain premiums are paid off. But towards the end of a particular tenure, the insured person, okay, gets that particular amount back or he is very much safeguarded with the insurance policy. So, kitna premium bharne ka, kitne saal ke liye bharne ka, what will be the rate of interest which will be coming back, okay, how secured that person can be. All such calculations are done by actuaries. So, very, very interesting career, but yes. Maths is something which has to be very strong for getting into this course. So, I've just given you a roadmap. Basically, if you took commerce, then two years 11th, 12th, then three years graduation, and then two years post-graduation. These are all going to do. Everyone who takes commerce will be doing that. Along with that, if you want to do something special, along with, I'm not saying apart from that, you have to do it along with. I mean, you will do it along with. This is the same thing. आप या तो दो तीन साल का डिप्लोमा या सर्टिफिकेशन कोर्स कर सकते हो कंडीशंस अप्लाइड दैट यू शुड बी हैविंग अ बैकग्राउंड और यू शुड बी ऑलवेज हैविंग अ जॉब एंड दिस इज अ सपोर्टिंग डिग्री एंड अगर जो आपको खुद के पैरों पे खड़े होके कुछ बताना है देन डेफिनेटली गो फॉर प्रोफेशनल कोर्सेज कोर्सेज लाइक सी ए सी एस सी एम ए ए सी सी ए सी एफ पी एक्चुअल साइंसेज एक्सेट्रा दिस कोर्सेज आर रेंजिंग बिटवीन थ्री टू फाइव ईयर्स ऑल आर प्रोफेशनल कोर्सेज बिकॉज दे आर जस्ट नॉट गोइंग टू यू नो मेक यू नॉलेजेबल एडुकेट योर 
but they are also making sure that you are having a lot of professional experience and that's why my dear students they are called as professional courses. So this is the roadmap of all the commerce students after the 12th standard specifically. I mean, you have to see only 11th or 12th in commerce. What is happening? You have to do subjects. You have to do subjects. graduation, ke saath saath, there are two options available and you can get along with it. So I spoke a lot about the careers in commerce. What exactly Mahesh Tutorials Commerce is? Let us know about us. Okay, what Mahesh Tutorials Commerce is all about? Okay. So I'm going to discuss about my own company now with you. We are established brand since 2003. We have been taught till date more than 1 million students. So that many students have been coached under us. We just not talk academics. We are also known for our beyond academics, our extracurricular activities, our motivational sessions, etc, etc. We are taking a pride by saying that Mumbai's best teachers are trained by our expert faculties okay or they might be our students here in Mahesh Rudolphs and now they are they are basically into the teaching industry as well. We have a complete holistic approach that means the student is not overburdened it is taken care and for all this okay we are known for consistently producing results. I'll just give you certain highlights of our results of the past 11th and the 12th standard results and then I'll take you to the CA results. So let's talk about the results of Mahesh Rudolphs since 2016, we have just shown from the last 5-6 years, okay, this has been our wonderful performance. Our Mumbai toppers, Maharashtra toppers, look at 2018-2019, taking it further, 2020-2021, the legacy of creating rankers year on year. So we are known for this kind of results, my dear students. Let me take you to the journey of CA results. CA. Till date, we have got 112 ranks in the CA Foundation. Now, this, my dear students, are all India ranks. CA Final, 129 ranks, 107 ranks in the middle level, that is inter level. And the most pride moment for any coaching class per se is to get the first rank all over India at the most important, the epitome exam of CA, and that is CA Final. And we have done it twice. 2013 Krutisha and 2015 James. These two students of ours have scored first rank all over India at an exam which is called CA final. And remaining students, if you are observing, they are that students who have got single digit ranks at CA final exam. Someone second, someone fourth, seventh, eighth, ninth rank. Now this is a stupendous performance for any coaching institution for that matter. Finally, what makes us so successful? So let me share our success mantra with all of you. Sabse pehle, we have a comprehensive content. That is, we design our own in-house study material, which is created by our subject experts, headed by an academic head. Likewise, we are very, very, very proud to tell you that we are the only coaching class in the market which have group tuition batches. That is, unlike any other commerce classes, which will make it 80, 100, 150 students in a batch, we'll tell you that we are just, I mean, you know, just, just to give them personalized attention and a personalized touch, our classrooms are designed in that way that we just have 35 to 40 students per batch. We take chapter-wise unit test, terminal test, prelims, and that's why we call, we are regular test series makers. Because that is what is expected at the board examination level and we very well are aware, practice makes men perfect. Experienced faculty. We have team of qualified chartered accountants, company secretaries, lawyers, MBAs in our teaching team. Likewise, we give you our very own, very own app which is called as Robomate Plus which is available to you on Play Store, iOS, etc. for 24-7 revision. These are our expert faculty recorded lectures. That means apart from live teaching, apart from live teaching, this will be an add-on. We will also teach you, and we will give you also video lectures bhi denge, so that you can you know, do anytime, anywhere revision. So RoboMate Plus specifically is for the revision purpose. Okay. Very important, we start a little early as compared to every other coaching class. Lectures for 11th Standard Commerce at Mahesh Rawls Commerce will begin from 1st of June itself. 
That means you may or may not have received your 10th standard result, but our lectures will definitely commence from 1st June itself. Now there should be some reason behind it. So before I start with the reason, okay, let me welcome you at Mahesh Rural's Commerce. You can enroll with us for 11th and 12th or for 11th, 12th and CA Foundation, which is the entrance exam for CA. Okay, so definitely the admissions are open. Why do I start so early? That is from 1st of June. Why should I start so early? Generally, the colleges will also not start in, I mean, you know, before August. Why should I start studying commerce? Reasons. Number one, we give you online base building lectures in April and May. That means before even we start with actual lectures in June, our April and May will be that particular phase in which those students who have enrolled with us will be given base building lectures because you are going to study new subjects that is accounts, economics, etc. So, uske jo basic fundas hai, basic fundamentals hai, basic concepts hai, will be teaching you in the month of April and May. The more early you take admission, we'll be giving you the discounted fees options as well. Secondly, very interesting is that we'll be giving you an early access to our RoboMed Plus. That means our app will be given to you the moment you book admissions with us, 11th standard lectures will be available to you. So if you feel that you know you have a very huge vacation for the 10th standard and you want to use it precisely, then RoboMed Plus will be available to you. April, May will be that time and we'll be taking your base building lectures as well. And the more early you start, you get a lot of discount on the fees as well. Finally, for knowing about the fees, for knowing about the functioning, please drop a WhatsApp on the number 7783-921-921. I'll be personally or any of my team members will, you know, will take a pride to reply on that particular number related to your careers, related to the admissions, etc. Whatever queries you have, please feel free to WhatsApp us. I hope this session enlightened your knowledge about commerce. So this is me, Kavish Davra, signing off. See you all very soon. Thank you very much on behalf of Mahesh Tutorials.